Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chad. Uh, I'm on day 44 of Juice. I'm rocking and rolling. Not feeling great, but what can you do? So, uh, last night I experimented with a castor oil pack on my right kidney. Now, what a castor oil pack can do for you is has the ability to essentially loosen up obstruction within an organ. Sometimes people will use a castor oil pack on their liver. Other times they'll use it on their kidneys. Uh, you can also, uh, if, you've, if you have a lot of uh, swell, not swelling in the head, but um, if you have a lot of congestion in the head, some people have found relief with uh, putting a castor oil pack on their neck. Now, uh, and it can loosen up the glands here. Uh, if you are gonna go to that, you know, if you're gonna go use it on your, um, around your neck, I would make sure that you're making effort to uh, clean up your gut area as well, because a lot of times you can just start to clean up your gut and uh, in turn your sinuses and everything else will start to drain out because that is essentially where it all drains to. So, what a castor oil pack is, is you use castor oil, which that's with the bottle that I used. Um, this thing was 10 bucks. I got it at a health food store. You can probably, you might be able to get it at Whole Foods or a larger supermarket, but you want to make sure there is some, um, oh, what is it called? Hexane. There, there we go. Hexane and paraben. So make sure it's hexane and paraben free. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. So, just, um, it's, uh, all they are, they're, they're things that you don't need in your body, so we'll just leave that at that. Um, so, and what you do with it is, I just took a, I just took a dish towel, which was clean, of course, similar to this guy, and I just, uh, you soak it in the castor oil, and, um, now, the standard... Uh, way to make a, a uh, castor oil pack is to use wool. Now, if you can find wool, I really suggest that you do that. Um, I had just, uh, my kidneys are nice and stuck, and I just wanted to get on this, and I don't really have time most nights, but last night I was off, so I just kind of half measured it and went with this. I don't think that by using the towel that I used, it it's gonna, I mean, I don't think the castor oil breaks it down the fibers or anything like that. And, uh, but, you know, if, if you're gonna do it, may as well do it right if you're gonna plan it out. So, now, what I did is, uh, this is the way I did it. There are other methods, but I put castor oil in this, uh, this pan here, this frying pan, and I turned, uh, using an electric stove, I turned it on low heat. So it was, you know, very, very, very low and you just warm the oil up and it's you know you warm it to the point of you can stick your finger in it and it's you know 90 some odd degrees so then I put the uh, the towel in there and it soaks it up and then I just kept on flipping the towel a little bit to get the towel nice and uh, nice and warm but you're you're not warming it to the point that you can't put it on your skin because that's the that's the end goal here. So now another method that I have seen is that people will take a uh, casserole uh, pan, you know, like a glass casserole pan. They put the castor oil in there and then soak up the rag. Then they put it in the oven on low heat for probably 10, 15 minutes. You just want to make sure you keep an eye on it, and uh, they heat it up that way. So. Once you have your pack, what I did was, you know, let's just pretend this is my castor oil pack. I put it around here, and then if you have somebody that can assist you, it's probably better. So this is, this is what I did for kidney. If you're doing it on your liver, you can obviously put it there. If you're doing it on your neck, you can probably just wrap it like that. And um, what I did was just take regular old... Uh, shrink wrap, um, what do you call this stuff? Just cellophane that you would use on a, you know, to cover up a dish. And then I just gave one wrapping around my body so it was kind of stuck there and sealed up. And then I just used another rag just for good measure over the top, you know, just a plain dry rag in case it leaked. And I sat down on the couch and just watched some nature shows for, you know, an hour and a half. 
And when I was sitting there, I just used a standard electric blanket and then put the electric blanket there so it keeps it nice and warm. Now, what that does is it just soaks into the skin, can help to uh, loosen up the organ and uh, potentially get things flowing. I didn't, I didn't have any results last night, but that was just one use. So I have heard of people using it around their neck and uh, getting results within you know one to two sessions. But as uh, time goes on, I will just continue to play with it. Most nights I don't get home till after ten, so I like to just go to sleep as quickly as possible. So maybe I'll try it over Thanksgiving or something like that. But now with your with your castor oil pack, uh, one thing too before you go and use it ring it out a little bit. I mean, you still want it to be saturated, but ring it out so it's not oozing oil, because, I mean, it's not going to do any harm per se, but, you know, just, uh, they're a little bit messy, even if you are taking care. But, um, and then, in terms of how long to leave it on, do it for at least a half hour. I did it about a hundred minutes, or right around there last night. Uh, some people will actually sleep with them on, I know it's up to you. Uh, probably to some degree, the longer the better. And at the at, when you're done, you can just uh, stick it. In, like what I'm going to do when I'm when I'm done this video is just stick it in a standard jar with a lid and just leave it there. So you can keep reusing it, and you'll have to obviously some of the oil is going to soak into your body and etc. etc. But you can just add more oil to it, and that stuff's not. I mean, I paid. 10 bucks for this thing, so it's, uh, I mean, I pretty much, I needed a, this is 16 ounces, so I used the whole 16 ounce bottle, but I'll probably get another, maybe with, with the oil residue that's left in the pan, I'll probably get another 10 uses out of that before I need to go buy another bottle, so anyways, uh, that's it for today. Subscribe to my videos, send me questions, any comments, maybe send me your experiences with uh, castor oil packs and if they have in fact helped you out and of course go out there and have some fun. See you later.